For how many of the following types of quadrilaterals does there exist a point in the plane of the quadrilateral that is equidistant from all four vertices of the quadrilateral? And so I have to show it for, I'm going to look at these five quadrilaterals. So first, a square. So I'm going to just draw each. So a square, um, I think it's pretty clear that that middle point is equidistant to the four vertices for a square. So a square is going to, we can count that one. Next, um, let's think about just a rectangle, put a middle point. Again, um, pretty clear that the distance from all the vertices is going to be the same. Check that off. Now let's consider a, a rhombus that is not a square. So this could be a rhombus, right? All, all four sides are equal. Notice if I put it in the middle, um, that's definitely not going to be equidistant from all four vertices. And if I keep trying different points, definitely not that, not that, not that, not that. Um, I can't quite find, there's not going to be a point that's equidistant from all four vertices. Um, basically, if I can just find a counterexample, then I've showed that there's not going to exist a point in the plane for um, that given quadrilateral. Um, so rhombus, I'll label these, rhombus will not work. Now let's look at a parallelogram that is not a rectangle or a rhombus. So parallelogram. So I could draw a parallelogram like this. And again, um, actually maybe a better one would look like I did like this. Draw a parallelogram. Yeah, like that. So again, I can't really pick a point. Um, not really in the center. That won't work because it'll be closest to those vertices. I can't find a point that's going to work for this parallelogram, so we're not going to count that. Um, next, I want to look at an isosceles trapezoid. So let's say, so isosceles trapezoid, these two sides need to be the same. So those are the same. Um, okay. So for an isosceles trapezoid, um, if I pick a point in the middle, um, I think that's going to be a bit closer to these vertices, so that won't work. Um, but I think there is maybe a way I could make this work. Something I want, something you can observe in the, the square and the rectangle is that that middle point is just where all the perpendicular bisectors meet. So notice these are all perpendicular bisectors. And that's going to be the same for the rectangle. So I'm wondering if I can just draw where the perpendicular bisectors meet, maybe that'll work. Um, so let's, let's look at that. So perpendicular bisector of this side. So I'll draw it. It's going to look something like that. Um, perpendicular side of the, the, the line below it will be like that. So that's like that. And then the perpendicular bisector of that line will look something like that, and that line something like that. So that line looks like it might work. Um, I want to look at why that may be the case. So why, why are we even picking that point? So let's consider another one. Um, so it was made kind of clear that if I, maybe we bring that point down to down here, that's, that's maybe um, going to be equidistant from all vertices. Um, the reason why it's not over here is because then that's clearly closer to this vertice than it is to this one, so that won't work. Um, so it does make sense that the point is going to be down there. Um, one thing to one theorem 
um, or postulate that I know is um, any point, I'll write it out, any point on the perpendicular bisector of a segment is equidistant from the endpoints of the segment. So all that's saying is, if I draw a line, so equidistant from the endpoints of the segment. So all that's saying is these two are the same. And then the other bisector is right here. Um, so then all that's saying is, then also, those two are the same and then those two are the same. So basically, if I say, let's say that's A, B, C, and D, and this is point O, I know initially from this theorem that AO is congruent to BO. And then um, any point on the perpendicular bisector of a segment is equidistant from the endpoints of the segment. So again, I can, it's clear that BO is then congruent to CO, and then it's clear that CO is congruent to DO by that theorem. Um, so I've just shown that the, the vertices are equidistant to that point O. Kind of a hand wavy approach. Um, if you have a better solution, definitely reach out with that. But I thought this was the best way to think about this problem um, without really memorizing a ton of stuff. Um, yeah. So the answer should be, so finally we got the, the square works, the rectangle works, and then also the isosceles trapezoid works. So the answer's gotta be three.